The world continues to search for sources of comfort in time of need. In the past, we've considered that God comforts by His presence. We could never overstate the real peace that comes by realizing the sweet communion that we can experience with Him in His presence. But today, I want to consider that God also brings comfort through His Word. What a wondrous treasure we have in the Word of God. Unfortunately, in this part of the world at least, the governments and elected officials have downplayed the importance of the Bible. Many people do not see the need for reading and studying God's Word. But my years have taught me that the Word of God provides a constant standard as a guide for life. Some time ago I read of a man who would visit his elderly friend, a retired teacher. Sometime during each visit, the teacher would pick up the tuning fork from the table, flick it with his fingers, and a sound would be made, and they would listen to that sound. After seeing this for several times, the visitor inquired of the teacher as to why do you continue to do that each day that I come? The teacher replied, that is a middle C. It was middle C yesterday, and it will be middle C tomorrow. It remains constant. And that's exactly what Isaiah said about God's word. He's Isaiah 40 and 8. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever. When all around is change and decay, God is true to his word. The psalmist said in 119 and 89, Your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light for my path. There is comfort in the Word of God. It will give you the comfort only if you open it and only if you are open to the message that it has. In your times of stress, turn to the Word of God. Seek His comfort. Seek His blessing. You can prove like the psalmist, how sweet are your words to my taste sweeter than honey to my mouth.